Hey guys and welcome to Car Guy 1999 Reviews. Today, thanks to Merrimack Street Volvo Cars in Manchester, New Hampshire, we have the 2023 Volvo XC40 Recharge Twin All-Wheel Drive Plus. This is the full electric version of the XC40, obviously based on the exact same platform as the C40. Of course, I have to have a truck every single time. Recharge Twin badging here. Something pretty cool and I'm sure you already see it, is the blue, give it a minute, blue carpeting around the doors, in the footwell. It looks absolutely awesome. Now, let's see here. Oh, the carpet back here is black. Uh, obviously, you have uh, your charging cable, everything there. Oh, so that is literally, well, I mean, when you start with a vehicle that's a gas platform, you just put the charge there. Cool, all right. Let's see. It looks like... Do not drive. Okay. Looks like I can get the hood open. I just don't know where they put the latches on these. Oh. All right, so you got a whole lot of nothing. Washer fluid reservoir, but if I'm not mistaken, oh, okay. You have a little bit of storage here. Um, and then you have tire sealant, tow hook, and a compressor. But then it looks like you can take this out and have full storage if you want. So, you do have a frunk. A small one, but you do have a frunk. Sticker price on this one, $59,940. Uh, this one also has your climate pack. Very simple to start. There's no push to start button. It is just, you're ready to go. Uh, it is very cold out, so it does say range and power limited due to battery temp. Uh, I don't feel a difference. So hopefully, I just drove it for eight miles. Um, looks like it's going to be perfectly fine. Being full electric, you have a ton of instantaneous torque. It does uh, build up around 40 miles per hour is when you get the full power, um, but I'm doing 20 and half an hour just. It's, it's quick. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely the fastest XC40, or at least the fastest feeling XC40. I do have one pedal drive enabled, which means right now I'm not touching the brake. I just lift it off the gas. It will come to a full stop, even on a downhill. Uh, from a full stop, we can obviously demonstrate And then once it hits about 30, it builds 40 miles per hour, you get full power. So very, very, very... <laughs> this is, you know, what I like about the C40 and now obviously the XC40 is these are very gasoline feeling vehicles. They're not in your face electric. but they have all the the cool benefits of an electric vehicle. One pedal drive, instant torque. But sitting in here, if I have the radio on, this does not feel like an electric car. And a lot of electric vehicles, Kia EV6, they're very in your face about being electric. Volvo's taken a different approach. They've taken the kind of, well, no pun intended, but the silent approach. It's, yeah, this is electric, but we're not gonna be in your face about it. Jeez. I 
Another added benefit of an electric vehicle, is, I'm not even impressed with the brakes right now, uh, is the batteries being mounted down low. Giving this thing really fun to drive characteristics. All the weights down low. Man, this is a good car. This is a really good car. Yeah, no, these things are quick. Ironically, directly in front of me is my coworker, who's obviously on his way to work. Um, that's the full bolt-on 09 Corvette that I drove is the one that's two cars in front of us. Hi, Dylan. Overall, no, Volvo is, this is one of my favorite electric vehicles out there because it's nice to have an option where if you don't want the full in-your-face effect of electric, this is the perfect option because at the end of the day, this is a gas-powered and or gas-powered platform in every other XC40 except for this one. They're all now mild hybrid, but it is a gasoline plant. Oh, leg extension. I love the Swedes. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe. See y'all in the next one.